Life Skype in SK Methodist Fire Punta. My hobbies are drawing, painting, watching nature documentaries, and of course, reading books. The book that I have chosen today is entitled Bugs, Nature's Tiniest and Terrifying Creatures. This book was written by Paula Hammond, while it was published by Amber Books Limited. This book features tables of all these animals, and it doesn't only feature bugs, but it also features reptiles and underwater creatures. This book features data tables such as these, which contain the scientific name, where it can be found in the world, the habitat, the size, the reproduction method, the lifespan, and also the diet. This book was written by Paula Hammond. She is a pollen based author which now lives in California. She has written over 20 books, three of them which are Our World, Nature in Danger, and Green Kingdoms. This book is really small and handy, plus it's light, so it's easy to bring on any camping trips or nature boot camps. I have three main animals that I like from this book. First one is the common house spider. Even though this spider looks deadly, it's actually non-poisonous and it's really helpful. It eats up pests such as cockroaches, flies, and ants. The second animal that I like from this book has to be the lobster moth caterpillar. It, when it's young, it looks like an ant, so predators will eat it. When it's in its medium caterpillar stage, it will look like a scorpion. The last, one, the last but not least animal in this book is the giant salamander. It can surprisingly grow as big as a car and lives in clear ponds in China, rather than living in muddy ponds like other salamanders. This book, I rate this book 5 out of 5, if you ask me, because I really like the author, and I have her, three of her books which are also as interesting as this. I bought this book from a popular bookstore, or it can be found in actually any bookstores. It was, it was published in 2015, but I didn't know about the book that time. I just bought it last year. This book is really interesting to me, and I hope it will be interesting to you too. It also explains the importance of insects in our nature and ecology. So I hope you enjoy this book as much as I do. Thank you.